All right, so welcome back to my spin tires channel. Um, I am in the B130 or the, uh, I think it's the Z Zill is the manufacturer. And I am on my way to rescue, for those of you who watched the last episode, uh, I'm on my way to rescue my stranded exploration Jeep. Um, the, I think it's the Maz, whatever it's called. Uh, I tried to cross a, uh, a river and um, <laughs> made a mistake. Now, the nice thing about the Zill is it's almost indestructible. This is a really tough truck. Uh, let's take a look at the map and see where our, how close we are to our truck that's in need of rescuing. Okay, he's right there, so we're almost there. So, um, it doesn't have a lot of traction, though. So, on these muddy roads, you're going to have to winch if you're pulling a trailer. Now, I left the utility trailer back at the office <laughs> because, uh, at the garage, because I didn't want to um, drag it all the way over here with me. Uh, that would have been a nightmare trying to pull a repair trailer. So, that truck has 200 repair on the roof. The, uh, my little utility Jeep. So... I should be able to repair it once I pull it out of the lake. <laughs> All right, I think we're getting close here. But you can see this truck does okay on its own through the mud if you don't overload it. Um, but once it gets loaded, it's really mucky to to drive. Um, all right, we're, here's the the disaster zone where I dumped myself into the river. So we're gonna go the right way this time and get around to the other side of the jeep and pull her out. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. It's right on the other side of, there she is. We should be able to recover that pretty easily. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm probably gonna have to winch out, so. But you can see even that, that big bash there didn't do a whole lot of damage to this truck. It's, it's fairly tough, so let's see what we got a winch point. Uh, What's, what's around me here that I can grab? Nothing there. I might have to back it out. Ah, there we go. Okay. So we need to look around here and see if we can find... I guess we'll have to back out winch-wise. If I can't winch out, I'm in big trouble. There we go. Okay, thankfully. Man, only one point available? Wow. Okay, so we're gonna winch this guy back. Wow. So it looks like it's a road there, but really... Not. <laughs> so I'm going to go back the other way because that was actually where the Jeep first went was maybe a better idea. So I need to... Now I'm going to have to apply... All right, so what we do here... If, it, if, it, if the winch won't pull anymore, sometimes if you put the truck into to gear and give it gas to help... There we go. See, it, now it can pull itself out. So you're giving it both truck and winch. And the combination pulled me out. So there we go. I'm going to put it back in forward and I'm going to approach this differently because I don't want to bust my truck. Yeah, a lot of guys are, like I said, they, they get down on this truck. They're like, oh, it sucks. And, you know, yeah, it doesn't... It's not four-wheel drive for sure, but it's actually not too bad of a truck. <laughs> Come on. We have to winch that tree again. There we go. Yeah, just it's a tough angle here. Nope, we're going to have to winch the tree again, so... This time, hopefully, I can get the front end winched up to it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to... Pull around and do the gas as we go and just yank ourselves right out. There we go. Okay. Disconnect that. Am I disconnected or no? Nope. Weird clicking issue here. It's not responding. So we'll go down this way. Yeah, you really gotta watch these rivers are deceptive. They look like they're shallow, and you can see the brown parts are where they should be shallower. Right there especially. There we go. Okay. This time we got it. Alright, so. Uh, now the trick is getting the Jeep to the point where I can get it safe without pulling myself into the water. So let's see if we can grab it from here. Uh, get a different view. Come on, hitch up. There we go. Alright. I can almost see the other truck. Come on. 
And that's one of the hokey things with this camera. It doesn't... I wish there was like a... There we go. Okay. Okay, advanced. There we go. So I can get the truck. And I'm going to put my truck in reverse. And start pulling it back. There we go. And then I'm going to F this. That is the F key. <laughs> sounded bad. That's not what I meant. <coughs> we'll try to get this guy all the way up into these trees where he was. There we go. Okay. Boom. Okay. 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 Now we can stop. And I've <laughs> I've bunked the truck. So, Okay. So now I'm going to put the Zill. Let's see. We're going to winch here. I, I'm probably going to have to winch the Zill back out. And so I'm going to change my view. And where do I want to go? Let's see. I'm just going to winch to this tree. And pull myself back. And. Alright. And am I going to be able to get out though? Well, let's do this. Okay, so now we're going to change trucks. So we're going to go over to the Jeep here. And the Jeep has been damaged. And we're going to start the engine. Oh, he's rolling down the river. Come on. Parking brake on. Okay. Shoo. And uh, parking brake off. And it's still drivable, even though it is damaged. It's... Whoop. Come on. Eh. Okay, parking brake on. We're going to have to winch out. So... Grab the winch point. Stick it up here. Turn this off. All right, and I'm going to pull myself right out. Oh, okay. So this is really a, quite a disastrous river crossing. Um, all right, now I'm going to move back to the uh, Zill. And I'm going to get her out of the water. So change truck. And here's the Zill. We'll see if she can pull herself out. Hopefully I won't. Unfortunately, I'm... Yeah, let it slide down. Such a tough truck. It's like a classic. Reminds me of like an American... Like a 40s uh, Harvester International. <laughs> Alright, hang on. Here we go. Okay, put it back in the forward. Come on. Alright. And <laughs> Nope. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're getting some traction. Let's see where we're going. Can we get this out of the muck? I have a feeling I'm probably still going to have to winch out. However, look at that. So even this is where that the Jeep couldn't uh, pull itself out. This truck was actually able to pull itself out. So we're just going to park the Zill here for now. And uh, we'll change trucks again. You know, change over to the Type A. I'll have to look up and see what this is called again. I forget the name of the manufacturer, but... Ah, brother. Where am I going to get through? I feel like it's really deep here. Uh, wow. Some of these, the bigger trucks, will make it through here okay. But this truck, obviously... Here we go. Feet. Ooh, come on! Oh, man. That's severe damage. Wow. Okay, so we're going to have to repair the truck now. And what you do is, so you go to your advanced menu and truck points. So I have 200 repair points, and I'm going to repair it. So the truck's now only got 19 damage, but I'm out of repair points. So that's it. That's That, that kit is used. To refill it, I have to go back to the garage. So we're not going to do that right now because we're almost to the second cloak point. There we go. Hopefully this one won't be as deep. There we go. Much better. Much more manageable. Okay, so let's see where we are on the map. <coughs> so the cloaking is pretty much straight ahead. Alright. And so, um, I'm gonna back up here and 
<coughs> you know, I think I'm gonna follow the road. I hate trying to get to these cloak points. Yeah, so sometimes... Oh, what am I stuck on? Jeez. One of these big rocks. Now, as you've seen, I also, I do do uh, outdoor uh, remote control trucks. And I have a Unimog video on there of my little 4x4 Unimog with locked diffs. And, uh, you know, to be honest with you, this is really a lot like that. I feel a lot of times like I'm, uh, I go through the same things. I get hung up. Sometimes you get stuck and your wheels are just not gripping the, the ground. You're not getting traction. Oh, dang it. They, this, this woods is like all over. Or you get hung up on a plant. <laughs> In this case, trees. That happens on the little truck too. Oh, I keep switching my differential off. Oh, that's going to do damage. Okay. Okay, so here's the clearing. Where's our tornado? There she is. So, you're always better off to try to find the, the open, most open route to where you're going because not doing so will obviously get you stuck in the woods. And I've gotten stuck so bad before that I've had to get another truck to pull myself out. All right, so let's back up here. All right, so I think that does it for this episode. And uh, we will continue to explore the coast with the Jeep. And eventually, hopefully, we'll, hopefully we'll find some big trucks and start doing some lumber. So, uh, anyway, I, please subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great night.